So it's uh, 5.50 in the morning and me and Joey are going to go to the Wednesday morning flea market, uh, which is at Mustang, the dirty wastelands flea market, and see what's out there. But for you just video game people, I don't think you've ever met my wife, who's half asleep right now. <laughs> She's a, a zookeeper, and uh, she's on her way to work also. This is, so that's Katie, so introducing you to the video game audience now. So you guys be nice. I know she has huge boobs and stuff like that, so make all those comments and, oh, and enjoy. <laughs> Look at this shit. The sun's not even up yet. Can't find video games in the dark. So can't make out much, but there's Joey. Eh, no, um, can't really make out much, but there are a few people here. We're not really set up yet. We are kind of early, but hopefully the uh, poor rain, you can kind of tell there's some puddles and shit going on. The uh, poor weather and the rain hasn't uh, scared people away. Joey's already hounding people before they even pulled their stuff out. They said they might have a Nintendo DS though, so we'll see if uh, what comes of that. As I walk backwards, let's sneak back and look. Ooh. What color is it? Pink. It's a pink, pretty and pink one. How is that? That super monkey ball. Daddy, open you season. Like this morning? Which other game? Open, open season. season. Uh, you, okay. know. you don't have a charger in there, do you? No. No. Okay. How much are you gonna be for? Charged? Thirty-five. Uh, charged Thirty-five now. bucks. Pro Wrestling, some Willow, Top Gun. Wheel of Fortune, Top oh, Gun. Listen oh, with, the, listen with yeah. the manuals. Disc only copy of Battlefront 2 on Xbox. Alright, so we're in better light. Let's see what we got. Uh, the Pink DS, the uh, Super Monkey Ball. Yeah, Touch and Roll, and then Open Season. Okay, and it was 35 for that, and then Namco Museum was in it. So three yeah. games in the system. No charger. They said it worked, but then he also threw in for free the Star Wars Battlefront 2. It does look like a hockey disc, or someone used it to shave their face with. Yeah, Aaron has a resurfacer. <laughs> I'm hoping that'll come out. But I mean, yeah. You get that complete. It's upwards to like 30, 35 right now. Yeah, yeah. We can give yeah Aaron's $800 resurfacing machine a, a try and see how much it does. So you just sell it to Aaron. <laughs> yeah, here Aaron, five dollars. Take a take a risk. Fucking son, I see you. I see you over there. Come up, so I can find video games easier. I can't see. Is there any games in there? Games? Hello. Even though there aren't very many people out here yet uh, on Wednesdays, you know, there's not as many booths being set up. At least there are not any smelly ass fruit or fish vendors uh, because I would probably end up throwing up on myself. They were so bad last time. Um, so I'll take the fewer booths. There are still uh, some people setting up and some people said they do have some game stuff. They just haven't pulled them out yet. So we're, we're hovering around like little vultures right now. Joey's bugging this poor old lady over here and won't leave her alone. So we'll see. I have my fingers crossed. We might actually find something good. You never know. It's hilarious listening to these people talk about what they have or what other people have out here. There was a, where'd the hell did Joey go? Oh. Uh, <laughs> um, they were, what were they just talking about? Like, I have nah, better... It just something yeah. out. I mean, it's funny listening to this stuff because my dad was a collector for antiques and all that. He's probably got more of everything than anyone out here. The guy's like, <laughs> I have more knives than that guy. He doesn't have enough knives. Like, I don't want to ask anyone who has more knives out here. <laughs> I don't want to get stabbed. I've never been in this little shed in the flea market. Joey always says it sucks too bad to come in here and he's afraid he'll get raped in, in this building or something. It is a little kind of like Chainsaw Massacre pile of crap in here. But, like what the hell is that thing? That's just bizarre. That's kind of funky. It looks like one of those punching, like, training things with a really goofy, sad face on it. Kind of looks like Joey. <laughs> the sun's up, guys, and you can see me. We've only done about 14 laps. 
so far. I've lost a good pound and a half. <laughs> I haven't. No. Joey's actually gained a pound somehow out here. I think he's just eating dirt. Wearing a jacket for sweat therapy. It's gonna yeah. See the smoke coming off of Joey's ears trying to calculate doing <laughs> difficult math. Well, you know, this right here, you know, there's a lot of stuff. 360s, yeah. a lot of good stuff there. These are bad. These belong in this. This believe these belong in this tray. So the guy wants Joey to buy all of the games and all those boxes for a hundred bucks, which wouldn't be a bad deal. It makes them like two dollars a piece or so. But there's a lot of sort of like sports titles and more junk titles that he might have to sit on for you know months before they would actually sell. There's a few decent ones in there, a couple of Assassin's Creed, but I don't think Joey's going to do a hundred dollars for all of them uh, but we'll see we'll see what happens stay tuned uh, found a dance dance mario mix really good condition but no manual unfortunately so joey decided to buy them all for how much 80 for 80 bucks so i don't know how many games were there you count i guess i didn't i, I guess i still kind of guessed he, he wasn't gonna buy them for 100 bucks so i was right about that but shit, $80 it makes like a dollar game, something like that. There was like 77 games there, so not a bad filler, you know, haul at least. So that's a decent stack. Don't even get to keep the trays though. We got to go walk them to the car and then bring them back for 80 bucks. You think we keep the Tupperware at least. Joey, put the seatbelt on the games. They're going to get injured if you slam the brakes on. Don't you take care of your babies. Let me get inside your box there, Joey. Depeche mode. I think Matt likes De them. Did you just say Depeche mode? What is it? This little kid just said Depeche mode. So anyone that's over the age of 20 right now that's watching this. Depeche mode? Yeah, that's it. Ah, oh, that, that's it. That's it. Don't even know. <laughs> Joey got uh, the sealed Castlevania 4 that was uh, purchased by that reseller in uh, episode 5 from this guy over here. So we shall see. Maybe he has four more copies. <laughs> well, it had to be actually five or ten thousand. Damn it, he didn't have any more sealed anything. No Super Nintendo, nothing. He didn't have a, all he had was those PS1 games. That's it. it sucks. He's a big boy. He's 18. Probably a dollar a piece on those ones. So some more high class filler. We got a Jungle Book on Genesis. Uh, the label. Namco Museum. And the badass Mary Kate and Ashley Crush Course. He doesn't even know I'm alive. But he's so cute. He's so cute. We were about to walk away, and she pulls out Shaq Fu on the Genesis. This will match up perfectly with your Shaq Fu for, what was it, Super Nintendo? Super Nintendo, the never-ending oh. joke that is yes. Shaq Fu. Look at that, badass. Got some Lion King, NBA Jam, and Street Fighter 2, so that's not bad. Uh -huh. And another Mary Kate? Dude, this is just your fucking lucky day. Joey, empty out your pockets. You were just standing there, and they just kept giving you free stuff because you're you're young and adorable, and the old lady likes you. But they give you a GameCube mic and a mic for the oh, in, yeah, the, yeah in, connector well, portion of it. Yeah, the port for the N64 for like the mic for Hey You Pikachu and stuff. So that's if that it, game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Three D balls. <laughs> So we just realized that uh, there are no fuck you. He's grabbing his balls while I'm trying to talk. In 3D. And it's not, yeah, in 3D, he's grabbing his 3D ball. Um, uh, what was I saying? No oh, vendor. There's no, no, yeah, there's no one out here, like actual, like just people shopping. It's all vendors. I mean, truthfully, even us technically are vendors, even though we're not set up today. So, like, 
I don't know how any of these people are going to make any money besides us buying shit from them. <laughs> I got I'm starting to lose it. I'm starting to, I'm starting to fall asleep oh, yeah. when I'm walking. <laughs> So how much was the Nintendo that you just bought? Twenty dollars with the gun and I think there's like three yeah. or four controllers. Yeah. I got a bunch of other shit in there right now. Oh, uh, we're carrying we're carrying the games together to help each other out because we're best friends. <laughs> So for 20 bucks, you got a pretty shiny looking NES. Yeah, it looks in real good shape. Some controllers, light gun. Three in there. RF. Not bad. So we're done. We're done with this fucker. And I want to go to sleep now. It's eight o'clock in the morning. We've been out here like two hours. We found, we found some stuff. Literally, we, it's like, we have an entire back seat full of shit. I know most people consider that like the hall. Yeah. Oh my god, awesome haul. Yeah. Crap. It's a big pile of poop. So, <laughs> anyway, this was fun. I don't know if the next time we'll be out here this early. Well, unless we're still up again or something. Yeah. Alright. Bye, peace.